all the Tekken adaptations suck balls. But why? It doesn't make any sense. Tekken has such a rich and fabulous story. Amazing, charming characters. But not only captures the hearts of diehard fans like myself, but also captures the hearts of the mainstream audience. So why? Why does it suck? It's because they try too hard. Like a lot of video game and anime adaptations, they try to put it through a filter to make it acceptable for a mainstream audience. That's a mistake. The charm of Tekken is that it's absolutely ridiculous. Boxing dinosaurs, pandas with no karate, my stupid hair, all the adaptations fall short because it loses the magic of what Tekken is meant to be. This is why the One Piece live action adaptation has done so well, because they just let the characters be goofy, stupid, and lovable. And that's what would make Tekken awesome. I do believe it can be done, but you just need to go all in with it. Have me, Paul Phoenix, in the final rounds of Tekken 2, and let me fight a real life actual grizzly bear. You just have to own the ridiculousness of the story. It's a large part of the reason why Tekken is so successful to a casual audience who are not online Pencil neck fighting game nerds! Another problem is that Tekken should not be a movie. Even if you made one movie per game, like the original anime adaptation did, certain character arcs will always get dropped off. For instance, MINE! If you had a series focused on one game per season, with a character episode each, all leading to the finals of the tournament, you would know these characters, you would know their motivations, you would bond with them, you'd have certain characters that you'd be rooting for in the finals, you'd feel for them, you'd feel for their successes, and you'd feel for their losses, and it would much more closely mirror the way the game story is told. I think that this format would serve Tekken very well. And Namco, if you need someone to do the hair in your costume department, OUR INBOX IS OPEN! Good!